not on your side has been keeping up with a special home out of New Bern, which has a mission to help house women coming out of prison. Right now, board members in charge of the project have some updates. Our Ford Sanders joins us from the newsroom this morning. And Ford, I know you've been covering this story for more than six months now, so tell us all about the latest that's happening. Yeah, Julian, it's called My Sister's House, and like you said, it's meant to help women transition out of prison and back into society. However, after a comprehensive report was done on the home, there are some pretty major developments that some are describing as a blessing. New beginnings sometimes is just necessary. A home that's seen the Newburn community grow, now making way for growth itself. It's called My Sister's House, a transitional home for women coming out of prison. 524 Roundtree Street will be their address to begin anew. A new beginning for the ladies and a new beginning for us. Bonita Simmons is the executive director for Tried by Fire, the nonprofit leading the project. She says after a comprehensive report was done, they decided they will need to demolish the home, but their work is not over. The demolition is not a failure because it allows us to rebuild and to rebuild like we vision it to be. The floor and the ceiling were gone. Volunteer coordinator Deidre DeRocher says it was a necessary decision to keep these women safe. The more we exposed the expected good bones, the more we found out how seriously damaged those bones were. Noting that even with the demolition and the expected rebuild, the donors for the project are standing right there with them. It's been important right from the very beginning that we're transparent with uh, the community, the neighborhood, um, but also with our donors and our grant agencies. Both saying that this new beginning will make the world of difference for these ladies needing their help. Without a vision, people perish. And so our vision now is more broadened because we can have everything that we want these ladies to have. And the demolition on the home is expected to begin yesterday morning. Both of the ladies tell me that this type of home for these women is one of the only one of its kind across seven counties in eastern North Carolina, saying that they can't wait to get to work. From the newsroom, Ford Sanders, 9, your side.